While the Democrats uh, debated their debate uh, in Iowa, Trump tried to steal the limelight by holding a Keep America Great rally up in Milwaukee. Trump kicked things off mm. with a move from speech writing 101. And your great Green Bay Packers are playing San Francisco this weekend. Good luck. So do we have any Green Bay Packer fans here tonight? You can't ask a crowd in Milwaukee if they're Green Bay Packer fans. That is the cheapest ploy for applause. I know for a fact my audience would never fall for it because they're the smartest, most beautiful people in the world. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Uh, Trump bragged about killing Soleimani and had high, if strange, praise for our military. These guys were better than Tom Cruise at his best. Better at flying jets <laughs> than Tom Cruise in Top Gun. Better at making cocktails than Tom Cruise in Cocktail. Better, <laughs> better at raining men than Tom Cruise in Rain Man. I'm... <laughs> Wow. Better at interviewing vampires <laughs> than... Then Trump dug into specifics, like, when is now? And is there ever, ever, a better place to be than a Trump rally on some night during some week? <laughs> he... He mm. really has no idea what day it is. <laughs> I'll never forget the wonderful night and or day we're having here in unnamed screaming place USA. <laughs> then go unnamed team. Then the president rambled on about stuff he liked. You know, I like golf and I love my grandchildren. I don't think I can talk to somebody about them for 45 minutes that I don't even know. 45. <laughs> I have a beautiful grandchild. He's really beautiful. He's so great. Okay, what else am I going to say, right? I love my grandchildren who definitely have names, which I know, <laughs> and who were born on some night during some week, some place. Now, over the rainbow. Trump speculated on how the world would be different if a Democrat had been elected in 2016. You wouldn't have bought all those brand new Keep America great hats. He's right. No, no, that checks out. Yes. <laughs> yes, we have paid a price. America's loss of standing in the world, the destruction of our constitutional norms, massive and flagrant corruption, but... hats. <laughs> then Trump launched into his favorite topic, household appliances. I brought back the old light bulb! Nothing! <laughs> Nothing makes you sound more like an old man and screaming, I brought back the old light bulb! <laughs> it was in the garage. Ah, it was in the garage yeah. by the thing with the box with the pine cones and last year's tinsel. Hey, close the door. I'm not paying to air condition the neighborhood around here. <laughs> Trump wasn't afraid to talk about the hot button issues like dishwasher efficiency. I'm also approving new dishwashers that give you more water so you can actually wash and rinse your dishes without having to do it 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First of all, we cannot let this guy become president. Second, <laughs> that just can't oh! happen. Oh! You, you just can't. At all. Just can't. Second, nobody does that. Now, this is, it's all made up. And third, I'm gonna say we should not take dishwasher advice from a man who eats the majority of his meals out of a cardboard bucket. <laughs> now, in the end, in the end, cardboard bucket. In the end, Trump got really upset with the media for reporting things. Anything I say that's even slightly false, it's headlines. Trump said this, these people, he said this. Every time I lie, the media's like, that's a lie. And I'm like, no lie. Why can't you lie about my lies? Oh my. These people, 
with the ears and the fingers. <laughs> the debate, the debate and Trump's speech weren't the only news today because we're also at the brink of the president's impeachment trial in the Senate. I'll tell you all about it in tonight's edition of Don and the Giant Impeach. Tell me what I did, please. When last we met, there was a standoff pitting House Speaker Nancy Pelosi against Senate Majority Leader and googly eyes glued on an uncooked chicken thigh, <laughs> Mitch McConnell. McConnell opposes having witnesses in Trump's Senate impeachment trial, and in response, Pelosi refused to send over the articles of impeachment. But now she's ready to move ahead after pointing out one inescapable truth. This president is impeached for life, regardless of any gamesmanship on the part of uh, Mitch McConnell. There's nothing the Senate can do that can ever erase that. They can't erase it, but if I use my magic marker, I can change it to the farticles of impoopment. <laughs> Legacy secure, Nance. Highbrow jokes. Now. I love it. Come on. Oh, mark your calendars because today Mitch McConnell announced the impeachment trial will start next Tuesday. To which the president responded, I'm sorry, Mitch, that doesn't work for me. I have something on Tuesday. It says here, taco. <laughs> we'll be right